The plowman's harvest was my own grain. I first saw his shape, strong and man-shaped, when my car stopped having four wheels. I was on the side of the road trying to phone the tireman to deliver me a new rubber circle, but my phone stopped having life. Terrible, I said to my skimpy outfit. How will I enter the city on time for the businesswoman gala? I am to receive a deserved hard gold trophy. Then the plough was seen, sleek and long, fresh from the testosterone fields. Riding was the hunk of the human lust, straw hat on his dome, straw piece in his man mouth, straw clothing barely covering his many biceps. If this was a scarecrow, I did not want to be a crow, since I would be scared. I normally wanted to be a crow. Howdy, he said like a cowboy, having his way with language. Lucky language. I wished I was words, words of a sexable age. Need help getting your tire erect? He pulled out of his grunting plow, a statue of a man. I wish I were the museum of chivel chiseled flesh, so he would be in my warm lobby. But I was just the museum of no boyfriend, closed all days of the week. If you can, I lipped to him. It is flat. I am not. My breasts heaved a hello. What are you called? The plowman, said the plowman. He kissed the bad tire and now it was good. I am also a tire, I hinted, hoping to receive a sensual smooch attack. Please fix me. Sweat glistened off the plowman's throbbing head of hair. Brown hair, the colour of a crayon named a rough intercourse. He gazed at me. Piercing eyes of passion, I blushed, my cheeks full of juicy blood, a vampire snack. A lie, the plowman verbally thrusted. A tire could not be so beautifully hot. May I wrap you in grain? A grain girl? Myself? Currently, I am CEO of Feminism at New York Corporation. I live a life of money and gadgets. I knew the plowman did not know what anything meant. He probably only knew three ideas. Farm work, love and eating chickens in one fleshy bite. I wished I was a chicken, but not a crow. There's a birdly difference. I have a secret, the plowman flexed his brow, dislodging rich soil from the grooves of his ruggedness. You are my type, female. I swooned, so devastatingly that I fainted into a lust coma. I awoke in the plowman's bed of corn and he gazed down at me. May I replace your clothing with nothing? he asked already knowing the response would be a strong affirmation of nudity. He then took me. I took him back, taking and more taking until there was nothing to take. We were both out of energy and out of breath, and out in a public farm field. He rolled on his burly side. I am sorry, but we cannot be married. Why not? It was my life's dream to marry ever since twelve minutes prior. He frowned and tears that smelled like motor oil came from his thick eyes. I am already wed. I am husband of the earth. Do you know her? The earth. I knew that blue and green bitch of a planet well. I lived on her wide load. I would have to get rid of her to have my man, Maui, plowman. I kissed his sensual cheekbone and whispered into his nose, Do not worry, my big love guy. I will make all this work. We will be buried together in the sexiest graveyard. I call the President of America for a non-sexual favour.